Well, the garden's looking good out here, and I got to ask you a question. Dave, oh. you, we always know you wear your gloves. Now Bob's got his gloves. <laughs> There's Bob. You know, I don't have any gloves. You know what? You don't do any what? work anyway, so Come you don't on. deserve any. Bob and I had to lift a big old sink that was a, made out of a piece of stone into the back of my pickup because I got to take it up to the farm. So you that's a, why Bob's, you had an Bob's old, show. Yeah, you had I had an old sink, sink out here in the garden. Well, you know, maybe how that's the part of the problem. <laughs> he, he likes to plant stuff in toilets and sinks that's and put exactly them in his front yard. Dan Davis Neighbors and I did love you. For Dan that, by Davis the way. and I did that a long time ago. So I retrieved my sink. I'm taking it up to my apple. Can farm. we just show the the uh, the rest of the garden here? Yeah. Look how clean oh, everything wait, is. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's starting to look like a freeway <laughs> garden out here. Now, this is not garden. Look at this that. is oh, landscaping. Beautiful. Now look back at Dave's section right here. <laughs> Folks, this is a real garden. This is where you grow your herbs and your vegetables. And we're talking about vegetables today, even though Scotty doesn't want to talk about it because he's afraid I'm going to put him to work. But here's what we're doing. We're planting a lot of stuff. You can see it right here. We've got seeds and a few transplants over here, Scotty. It feels it. like we could do this this morning. It's nice it out here. It is a nice day. Yeah. You know, it's going to get a little bit warmer this weekend. Yeah. But believe it or not, folks, in the next two to three weeks, you better have those gardens planted. I mean planted really? right now. I would have never thought. Yeah, thought. you never would have thunk. But here's what you got to do. We talked about a little bit last week. Lots of manure on top of that garden. Some bone meal if you're actually growing a lot of root crops like we're going to grow. Or blood meal if you're going to grow a lot of leafy crops. Of course, mixed in. A lot of lava sand there, Scotty. This is mm -hmm. real important. When you're going to be growing those gardens, especially in potted or raised type beds, or even our old bag gardens right here. This is a bag garden. I take one of those, you know those free things that... <laughs> Hey, did you just make that it? up? That's no. a bag garden. This is a you bag cut garden. the top of the bag off of That's it. That's right. That's why they call it a bag garden. This is a garden guy's cheap way of making <laughs> raised beds on top of tables oh so he doesn't gosh. have to lean over with his bad back. <laughs> <laughs> now, listen to me. you got to pay attention. This How much is really... money did you make for that idea? <laughs> <laughs> this is serious stuff. <laughs> but listen to me. When you're doing this, so what you want to do is you want to make sure you got plenty Bad of drainage. Time. So here's what I do. Harbor Freight screwdriver right there. Hold that for me, Scott. <laughs> and then once you got that, folks, you got yourself a raised bed. You can actually do this in six inches of soil. So what do you want to plant? Now, we already talked about the bone meal and the blood meal. Scotty, lots of flowers. You need, you need about 50% yes. flowers and 50% vegetables. A lot of this stuff needs to go in from seed. And you can see some collard greens. You like collard greens? No. You never even you never even tasted them. Yeah. Were you one of those kids say I'm not going to eat something like that? Pretty much. Okay, I thought so. Spinach, of course. Swiss chard is another one. And then, of course, your root crops need to go in. And that is your radishes and your baby carrots and your beets and your broccoli. And when we get back, Scotty, I'm going to actually show you or put you to work for once in your life on how to grow and how to transplant some real vegetables into that raised okay. bed garden. Give me so that you're, back. So you're, that is a nice screwdriver. So That's, you're saying you if, we, if we don't plant in the next two to three weeks, you're done? No, it doesn't mean that. Uh, but if you want a good garden, you, you want to start, well, it is, but I mean, you want to do it and you want to do it right now because you want to get ready in the next 90 days, what is it going to be? November, <clears throat> right? That's Thanksgiving. That means you want to be starting to eat out of the garden. Okay, there you go, Scotty. Back to you. Gina. Whoever. Gina. There you go. There's your bag garden right there. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I don't know why I do this every, well, <laughs> once a week. Next, you're going to be Thank putting God. dirt in a bucket. You're going to go a bucket garden. <laughs> of course. That's the next segment. <laughs> we're going to call this, we're going to rename this segment like throw down three minutes. Three minute throw down. <laughs> three minute throw down. <laughs> three minute throw down. <laughs> <laughs> throw down. <laughs> All right, you guys continue your throw down. I'm going to talk about the traffic.